Today we're going to see if mine is bigger than yours. And I don't mean me bed, I mean the actual trouble of the XX3. Now I've modified this mill for extra travel. The reason being is as you can see the rotary head takes up a lot of space. So to minimise the amount of loss space I've got, I've extended the travel. Now to check if mine is bigger than yours, we could use this size ruler. We may need this size ruler. And if I was boasting, we could use this size ruler. So we'll stick to these two at the moment. As you can see, the mill is in the home position. Now the height of the head from the table, from the base is on the top here 29 inches or for us metric people 735 that is standard I set the home position for 10 millimeter so if I'm a bit suspect that it's actually moved or it's not switching on and off correctly I can measure this distance. So I set them up, all the stops, to be a certain distance so as I can measure and check. If I have to pull the home switch off at some stage, I then can just set it back up and measure the difference. And, if, and when I've set up any tooling plates, I can then just dial in the difference. So this is stock standard height. I could have raised spaces, but I'm not worried about too much about the height. What I was concerned about was the travel. As you can see, this side, there's no motor. The motor's up on this end. So I switch the motor around. The handle that's normally here will move along and hit the saddle. I've milled out clearance in the saddle so the actual bearing and the uh, end plate can clear it. So, and the other end stop is on here. So the total distance of travel, so this would hit that, is now 397. So let's say 395 millimetre. Or for you inch guys, just over 15 and a half. Measure your mill and see how much travel you've got. The dial is reading, the slight scale is reading on 80, so that will give you an idea of how much extra travel. But as you can see on the y axis, where's the stepper motor? Stepper motor is actually inside. I've added brackets that pull the motor out, remove the handle, the motor does not move, the handle does not move, I've put it back to a conventional mill style where the nut stays still and the thread moves. So the distance out from the column to the start of the table is just 9 inches and uh, what's that in? Seven eighths, nine and seven eight inches, or two hundred and fifty-two. That is a distance. That's for you to check, see what your maximum is. But the amount of travel I've got now is the saddle stop to the edge of the column is two hundred mil. So I've got two hundred mil travel in the y direction I probably got about 375 allowing for the head in the z and like I said this is the one I like just under 400 mil travel there 
the only problem is in extending the travel is as you can see the mills are made with a very small saddle not enough support on a larger mill like this one the saddle is a lot wider and the overhang is a lot minimum as you can see this is probably one two over three times overhang so the extra weight will actually curve the or make the table tilt and may tend to jam on the slide so what you have to do is you cannot get the massive travel and the massive speeds that you would have if it wasn't extended so you cut back your speeds to about 40 inches per minute I've set mine even lower, I've set mine to 30 because I don't want any trouble and plus I'm going to add extra weight so that's the CNC 4A method of extending the travel in the X and the Y direction and I highly recommend it Thanks for watching. <laughs>